Hi, I'm back again. This is just a very quick one. It's sad. I'm here to tap with some sad news. We was all hoping for the best, but I think we all knew deep down it wasn't going to happen. But Audrey Cunningham has been found in Trinity River. I only just noticed this once I finished the, sc uh, the streaming on my last live. And then I had to listen to the news, see what they're saying, and then do it on here. <clears throat> yeah, uh, they found that in the Trinity River. And the reason that I found that was because they was able to slow the water from the dam down. Right? So the, the water in the river went a bit lower. And due to that, EcuSearch was out there with their boats, scanning the river beds, found her. Now they do this free of charge. EcuSearch are brilliant and they do everything free of charge. And they have been and found Audrey and I brought her back home. Not in the way we all wanted it to happen, but she's coming home. Uh, they took her to the mortuary. They've got to do a post mortem, obviously. And once that is over, they'll know more. But here is the, the uh, news of it. Oh, John. Yeah. No. I'm gonna mentally Let's drop it in a minute. We have a kissing to look at. who have spent countless hours in hopes of finding him, and to the community members who have been been here supporting us since day one. I also want to have a say thank you to Trinity River Party for learning the area. Don't do this to me. <sighs> My internet tonight. Reach areas of, of interest. At this time, I sadly announced that Audrey's body was located at the U.S. Highway 59. As a result of today's developments, I would just say the ambulance for Audrey, and I, I want to thank DPS, the Department of Public Safety, for all here. And so the information that we gathered in this criminal investigation is substantial. The Polk County Sheriff's Office investigated the Liberty Police Department and the Texas Rangers, uh, the Game Wardens, the FBI, the Sandy uh, Center County Sheriff's Office, the District Attorney's Office, um, in um, Trinity County, in Liberty County, uh, it's just an outpouring of love from all of our law enforcement partners. My ex this news, and I express with my deepest sympathies and condolences to everyone who knew, who cared for, and loved Audrey. The Sheriff's Office, we will continue to process the evidence that has been gathered to ensure that the justice for Audrey and at this time, I will turn the podium over to the Polk County District Attorney, Ms. Shelley Sitton. Thank you, Byron. <clears throat> My name is Shelley Sitton, and I am your Polk County District Attorney. 
I just want to take a few moments to explain how we're going to move forward from here. Based on all of the evidence that law enforcement has collected, they are in the process of preparing the appropriate arrest warrants for Don Stephen McDougall. At this time, we believe the appropriate arrest warrant is going to be for capital murder in the death of Audrey Cunningham. He is currently still in jail under an unrelated felony charge here. I understand that this is a very difficult time for Audrey's family and for our community. The substantial law enforcement resources that were marshaled by the sheriff lines, I think should show you that this county and law enforcement, they will come out when they need to, to protect our children. And the asset has been available to the county to protect our been substantial. Point, as Sheriff Line said, he'll continue to collect the evidence and process that. The district attorney's office is going to stand right beside them and follow through. And we promise that you can assure the district attorney's office will be just as dedicated to this case as every law enforcement officer that are standing behind you to do what is right for our and bring justice to our community. At this time, if you've got some questions, we'll open it up to a few questions. To I cannot speak to that. The time right now, we have transported uh, down to the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office. At that time, we will award wait their results to be able to determine uh, the cause and method of her, her death. We believe that there is enough evidence, yes. Yes. Did, 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 Stephen, did Don Stephen McDougall lead you to that location on the river where you found her body? Did he tell you where to find her? That was evidence uh, that we was collecting through the cell phone, through the cell phone analysis, as well as through our, as well as through our videos that we were able to collect and and exactly and, and some of the information that we received from him we were able to pinpoint and and set there were several points of interest um that was turned over to us so that we were able to develop thank goodness and thank God one of those places of interest we were able to locate uh, in, um was turned Evidence and, and and right now, folks, when it start, we start talking about how we linking evidence to McDougal and linking it to um, this case. We want to be very careful. Uh, I I would say to say this is that there is substantial evidence through the evidence that we've gathered, and some of that evidence was even gathered by the the wonderful witnesses and wonderful folks out there in the social media videos who sent us uh, pictures, some of that, even that evidence helped us to be able to come up with these locations, as well as the evidence from cell phones and where it was to uh, pinpoint these locations. Well, you know, it's the of the medical examiner's office, we have information concerning Audrey and, and, and uh, condition of That that area is one of the first areas of our concern of interest when we we start our search on Friday or mid Friday, and again that's going to be developed from some of the evidence. There was some points uh, where we did give her from because there were several places that he he said that he. So it, it was a location where he said he were, but there was a, a instance where he said these were locations where he had gone. With all this evidence that you talk about, would you have been able to find her where you found her? Without the evidence that you just described? Yes. You would have found her there? We would have found her not through, not through him, but we would have found it through the evidence that we collected from 
the analysis from phones and videos would have. Visible to the, to the next you, were, you, you used a sonar. You used a sonar boat. Texas Tech was search was out with their sonar boat, scanning the, the bottom of the river for, for her body. They are the ones that discovered the body. Is that correct? Um, no. The image. I, they, I, I, I'm not going to say who exactly or what agency uh, discovered her, her, her body today. I will say this, that due to the lowering, we were able to contact TRA, Trinity River Authority. They slowed down the, the from the, uh, the reservoir and it allowed the water to go and the body was discovered uh, there in the water. Um, but I'm not going to say whether it was Harris County or Montgomery County or Equal Search. It was a conglomeration of a lot of law network together. Stephen McDougal was the one that told you to lower the river, lower the level of the river. He told that he actually told you to lower the water on the river. Is that true? We talked to TRA on several occasions about lowering it when they got to the point or they they lower the start lowering. The, um, we were able to get them to do so. Whether or not Mr. McDougal gave us information on where the river not locate her that information we do not release at this time one more question that he did advise that was one of the locations that he had gone on not that he was saying she was there or any other location but we he went there as well until we get all of the evidence and all the autopsy, we're going to have to hold but to determine what is the best. We, we do not have any evidence at this time that's showing that where she may have been held somewhere else. But again, we are still processing mounds and mounds of information and, and, and data. Listening in here to an update out of Livingston, Texas, we learned today that officials have located the body of 11-year-old Audrey Cunningham, who went missing last Thursday, finding her body in the Trinity River. And this was the person of interest that they have been following throughout this investigation. Don Stephen McDowell. Don McDowell. Um, will be actually be prepared. Capital murder will be the charge. Is currently charge. These photo images right here. A man that is not um, new to law enforcement. He's had several run-ins with law throughout his history. Also found out here today that Audrey's body, currently over at County Medical Examiner's office. At this point, they're going to try to determine the exact yeah. cause of death. Yeah. That was something that was not made clear. Obviously. Once we get the proper cause after then we get some more details ironed out on paper from the document prepared. But once it's on paper, we will have more information from that standpoint as well. Um, again, capital murder is the charge. The sheriff also spoke about the cell phone analysis because a lot of people were trying to figure out exactly the timeline. How did this play out? How did this little girl who so many people thought were, or at least last thing we knew, she was going to be walking to school to hopefully get on the bus? But our Abigail and I are exposed to this every single day. She sees Thursday morning. She did not see Audrey. And that's some of the concern. This video here, for example, we also uncovered on Friday. That is McDougal right there speaking to law enforcement shortly before he was taken into custody on that unrelated charge. But again, cell phone analysis, videos from the public also contributed to them putting together some locations, not to mention 
Don himself, I don't want to say he was totally cooperating with law enforcement, but I can certainly say that he gave him certain points of interest. Uh, that uh, dang, One last thing here I want to mention. The Trinity River, um, the sheriff mentioned that they were able to work with them to reduce the flow of the water in the river. And once that water was lower, they were able to locate Audrey Cunningham, 11-year-old body. Sad news here, um, but we're going to continue to follow this here. Um, we just wanted to break in and bring you guys up to speed. We'll have more on this here coming up for your, on your newscast at 5 p.m. So that's the news. Now I heard one girl shout out saying, "Was she weighed down to stop her from coming up?" And the sheriff declined to answer that in so many words. I think he had weighed her down, and I think he had told them, "If you lower the water." You will find her. I think he told him. Because it's just a bit coincidental that last night they did a um a news a press release and they said they was concentrating on this area, certain area. And then they find her. To shame a whole life ahead of her, but he's been put upon a capital murder charge, which I think is right. He should be, but I don't think people need to start blaming the parents. This isn't the time for the blind game. The only person to blame for this is that. Stephen MacDougall or John MacDougall, that horrible creature. Uh, so there's, a, there's only one person to blame, and that's him. And I truly believe, we'll find out once the autopsy comes back and whatever, that she was killed the night before. And I think it's because it has been texting her mother, those vile texts he was saying, I'll give you my uh, car and everything for one hour to rock your will. You know what I mean? Sort of thing. And because she said, no, bugger off sort of thing, I think he's turned his anger then onto her. And I think he killed her. But she passed away. He hung alive to her on the Wednesday night. Because I don't know if the father was at home or at work. I, you know what I mean? I don't know if he worked just days or if he went away for days on end. Because some fishermen, they don't just go out for one day. They go out for several days, don't they? So I don't know. If, he's, if the father wasn't there on the Wednesday evening, then I would say she passed Dougal on a live jet on the Wednesday evening. Otherwise, I think, if not, he got into the car by saying, oh, well, we'll go and see your mum. I'm going to take you to six and six to see if he's going to see your mum. You know what I mean? And it's only when she was in the car she realised something wasn't right. And I think that note in that book was her writing because that's, uh, where is it? I think I'm going to have to do it this way. Let's have a look. <sighs> Because people, this was all over Twitter. And I said, you've got to understand when a child is in panic mode and 
all this, the writing won't be the same. Like, you know, there's this. That. It's just stuck the same. Right. But it says send help. You know, if she's writing that, if she's got that book in her bag and she's writing it so he can't see her writing, her writing won't be the same. It's got to be a bit rushed and a bit, me bit messy. So I think she, she's an 11 year old, and 11 year olds are very quick and very wise in their thinking. And they know when something isn't right. And I just feel so bad for her. The last person she saw was that ugly fecker. You see, trust, you see, I don't know if he was grooming her. Because he said to the mother in one of the text messages when he's trying to get the mother to meet up at a park, like me to see Audrey, right? I don't, he said, she said something and he said, I'm her favourite person. I think actually I've got a picture of that. Oh, let me just find it. Ah, uh, which one was he? Is it this? No, is it this one? Let's have a look. I don't know if it's this one. Let's see. Yeah. Oh. I'm your daughter's favourite person and she will not tell. And that's when he's messaging the mother. Earlier on in the evening, well, earlier on in the evening or whenever. About arranging so she could see her daughter, but she had the feeling it. She had a feeling it was a setup. You know what I mean? And then he started messaging the mother later on in the evening, and they, some of the things he was coming out with, it was vile, vile, disgusting. And she literally told him to f up. Right? Yeah, that. There. Can't hold that in prison, mate. But look at him, he's so many things. Oh. She had no chance against him. No chance at all. And this beautiful little girl. Where is she? And this beautiful little girl had no chance against him. So I will be following this through, keeping up on the updates of it, and if there's any ever more updates come through, I will come on live and let you know. So until then, it's sad news, very sad news, but I'm glad they're going to charge him as a capital murder, which in Texas, I believe, could hold the death penalty, which I think he should get. He took her life. He's a. His past history says it for him. His past history, enticing, it's, it's several uh, char charges of enticing young girls, and he only got char charged down two of them. The others were all dropped, time served or whatever it was. Enticing children, and that's what he did to her. He enticed her into the car by saying, "We're going. We're going to see your mum." Because seven o'clock in the morning, I think it's. I don't know what time the school start there, but he probably thought you can see your mum like ten fifteen minutes before you go to school, and I'll drop him at school. You know what I mean? So. And he was telling them places of 
of interest. So our price is where he'd been. Not with her, but where he'd been, apparently. Places of interest to look. So he's literally telling them where to find her, bit by bit. He wouldn't come out and say, oh, I've done it, this is where she is. He's giving him, he was giving him dribbles, drips here and there. It's a shame. Just in your week. And eleven beautiful little young girl like that, a whole life ahead of her. Anyway, I've just come on quickly to do this. I wasn't planning to come back on, but I've been following this from the beginning, like a lot of other people, and I just wanted to respect her. And do this for her and now i'll follow it all the way through until we get justice for her and it's a bit weird actually today i was doing i was typing some up and i went to put justice for aubrey i put no 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 aubrey's not dead you know what i mean and mm -hmm. i just i literally stopped myself by well, to put in a hashtag justice for Aubrey. We realised putting a hashtag, uh, hashtag Aubrey Cunningham. You know, sort of thing. But I went to put justice and I thought, no, she's not dead yet. And that was earlier today. That came, that happened. So, but apparently it was only because they managed to get the flow of water from the dam slowed down that the water level in the river went down that they were then able to find your body such a shame anyway i'm gonna leave it at that and play you and see you out this okay thank you for coming good night <laughs>